Then al Aqdari goes on to mention the acts that are sunnah, the sunnahs of wudu, which he mentions are eight. And the first one he mentions is ghasl yadaini ila al ku'aini, washing your hands up to the wrist bones. So ku'aini in Arabic means the two wrist bones. So washing your hands up to the uh, or you should say washing the hands including the wrist bones is considered a sunnah according to the Maliki Madhab and that is sunnah in the shuru' at the beginning of your ablution so at the beginning of your wudu uh, washing your hands three times is considered uh, a sunnah and in our Madhab it's a form of worship in other Madhabs they'll say that washing the hands is for the sake of uh, cleaning them before putting them in the bucket in our hands. I mean, in our madhab, it's ta'abud. It's a form of worship. We don't know why the Prophet wasallam, because in some narrations, he did it even though his hands were, were clean. So in our madhab, it's a form of worship. The next one is wal madmadatu. Madmadatu means putting the water in the mouth and swishing it around. So putting water in your mouth and swishing it around is also a sunnah. And in order to obtain the reward of the sunnah, the water has to be swished around in the mouth. So if you were to take water and put it in your mouth and just hold it there and then spit it out, you wouldn't get the reward of madmada because madmada means to swish water around in your mouth. After that, he mentions what istin shaqu. Istin shaqu means to inhale water into the nose. By taking water into your nose and sniffing lightly. A person who's fasting should not sniff too far, but they should only they should only sniff lightly. For a person who's not fasting, they should sniff up to the level where it reaches the the the, the nose bridge. And uh, sniffing the water in the no inhaling the water is also a condition for Obtaining the sunnah, for example, just pushing water in your nose with your hands, a person does not obtain the, su- the sunnah of istin shak, which means to inhale the water. A person has to actually inhale it a little bit, but as we mentioned, they should not inhale it too hard so that the water goes right back to the throat because a person can harm himself by doing that. Uh, and so in order to get the reward, it has to be, it has to be inhaled a little bit and it can't just be shoved in the nose. And then we have the next sunnah, which is al-istinthar. Al-istinthar means to blow the water out of the nose. When a person blows the water out of the nose, in order to get the, the sunnah of doing that, they must place the, the index finger and the, and the thumb of the, of the left hand on top of the nose bridge. Take the index finger and the thumb of the left hand and place it on the nose on the nose bridge and blow out. That's how a person gets the reward of istinthar because it's a hadith of the Prophet wasallam that mentions that a person should not blow his nose like a donkey, meaning just by putting the just by putting the the water in your nose and then just using your nostrils to blow it out. Put your hand, that's the proper adab, the proper manners of, of blowing the water out of your nose, to put your, 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 your index finger and your thumb on your nose bridge and of your, with your left hand and blow out. So that's al-istinthar. The next one that he mentions, waraddu mazhir ra'si. We mentioned in the fara'id, in the obligatory acts of ablution, that a person wiping over your head is obligatory. Here, the second rule of wiping over the head is returning the wipe. So after you wipe over your head one time, then returning that wipe, returning by meaning you pass your hands to the back of your head and then bringing them back to the front is considered uh, a sunnah according to the Malikis. And so that's the meaning of waraddu masr rasi. Wa mashul udhanaini. Wa tajdeedu al-ma'i lahuma. Here we're going to mention two sunnahs together, although they're separate. So you should record them as separate. The first one is wiping, uh, wiping over your ears. Wiping over your ears is also uh, is also a sunnah, and 
renewing the water for wiping your ears is, is another sunnah. What do we mean by that? After you finish wiping over your head, you dip your, fi- you, you dip your fingers back into, uh, back into the water and you pull them out and then you wipe over your ears. Huh? So wiping over your ears is one sunnah and passing um, and renewing the water before wiping uh, in order to wipe over the ears is also considered a sunnah as well. And then with tartibu, the next one, tartibu bain al-fara'id, is, means to do all of your fara'id, all of the acts of uh, ablution that are obligatory, to do them in order. So in our Maliki, in our madhab, uh, contrary to the Hanafi madhab, it's permissible for us to do the fard acts of uh, the obligatory acts, meaning of fard, obligatory. The obligatory acts can be done Without order, in the Hanafi method, when they make wudu, they have to do their uh, acts that are obligatory in order. In the Maliki method, doing it in order is only sunnah. So if I started, except for niyyah, the niyyah obviously has to be first. What we're talking about is the actions that are obligatory, because niyyah has to be first across the board. But for example, if I started washing my feet and then my face and then my arms then my wudu would still be sound, but I left the sunnah of doing my, uh, my wudu in order. So doing, doing the obligatory acts in order in terms of ablution is sunnah.